You ever find yourself watching a long video and you wish there was a way to get a summary that condensed all of the important points into an easy to read article? Well, enter Video Summarize, an AI powered application that'll do exactly that. You just copy a link to a YouTube video, then open the Video Summarize app and tap this button here. Then within literally seconds, the entire video will be analyzed and summarized into just the key talking points. And I've tried this on a number of my own videos and can attest to how impressive it works, so it's well worth a try. Second up today is Color Changing Camera. And as the name so helpfully implies, this is a really cool app that lets you change the color of any object your phone's camera can see in real time. You just point your phone at something you wanna change the color of, tap the object, and boom. Just like that, the object will change its color and you can then adjust what color it should be changed to down in the corner here. Not only is this outrageously fun just to play around with, but I can also see it being a pretty handy way to experiment with different colors. Let's say if you're planning on repainting your house, for example. Now, last month on the channel, I showcased the new voice chat feature found within the chat GPT app, which is really cool and kind of scary as to how real it sounds. But the one missing aspect of the feature that I thought would take it to the next level was if it let us use the voice chat feature as our phone's default assistant. Well, now we can using an app called Voice GPT. You just install it, then open it, and that'll immediately let you set the ChatGPT voice chat feature as your phone's default assistant, which makes it so convenient to access quickly. Apparently, the OpenAI team are working on integrating this feature natively, so this app might become redundant at some point in the near future, but it's a handy workaround for the time being, nonetheless. And then SyncThing is a really incredible open source app that allows you to seamlessly sync files and folders across multiple devices completely for free. You just come over to the devices page, tap this plus button, and then on a different device, you tap this menu icon here, then tap on show device ID, and then back on that first device, you just tap this QR code icon, scan the code on your second device, give it a name if you like, then tap the tick icon. Then back on the second device, you accept the sync thing invitation, then tap the tick button, and there you go, your two devices are connected. Repeat that for however many devices you like, then you just need to come back to this folders page, tap this plus icon, then tap here where it says directory, then select whichever folder that you wanna share to your other devices, then you toggle each of the devices to on, and then you tap the tick button. Then on the other devices, you accept the folder invitation, then select the path where you want the synced files to be saved, tap on use this folder, then on allow, then the tick button, and that's it. Now that folder and all of its files will sync across to your shared devices anytime they're updated. Super handy. Oh, and speaking of syncing information across devices, Batarang is another nifty application that can do the same thing, but for battery information. With the app installed, you just set up your parameters like setting a charge level for connected devices to be notified at or enabling the battery low notification. And then once complete, you tap on pair receiver, then you navigate to the website b.anison.com, then tap on enable browser notification. Then you can either use your device to scan the QR code that shows up or just copy and paste the code in manually. And with that, the devices will now be paired and you'll be notified according to the parameters that you've set up. And this could be a great solution to that common issue that plagues those who own tablet devices that are often left sitting on a shelf and are always dead the next time you actually need to use them. If you use Batarang and spend a few minutes setting it up, now you'll be notified whenever your tablet is low on battery, which will remind you to go and charge it up. How good's that? All right, while we're on the topic of apps, if you've ever wanted to make your own app, but you have no coding skills whatsoever, then look no further than today's video sponsor, At My Site. Once you're signed up, you just click on this create app button, enter a name, then choose the sort of app you want it to be, including this new option that lets you make one completely from scratch. And from there, you can then dive in and make as many changes as you like. This includes changing the app icon, making tweaks to the splash screen and login page, adjusting the colors and icons found on the bottom bar, as well as adding in whatever content you want shown within the app. Plus there's a heap of other changes that you can make as well. Once you've finished, you can then use the App My Site application to preview the app on your own phone. And once you're happy with the end result, App My Site will then even help you to publish it to either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. 
Oh, and if you're an agency owner and you'd like to rebrand at my site's app building platform with your own agency branding, then you can totally do that using their agency white label product. You can set your prices, onboard unlimited customers and build unlimited mobile apps as well. It really is a fantastic tool. So if you want to try out at my site, then you can do so using the first link down in the description below. Okay, from there we have Groovify. And if you're a big Spotify listener and you're looking for a new way to generate new playlists full of songs that fit a certain vibe, then this is a fantastic app that'll help you to do exactly that. You just select a song that you want to use as the base and that'll instantly generate a completely fresh playlist for you. But then what's cool is that you can then refine that playlist even further by using this filter menu at the bottom here. So you can adjust whether the songs should have a more electronic or acoustic vibe, whether they should be energetic or mellow, happy or sad, danceable or chill, and even whether they should be more popular or obscure tracks. And you can even set a specific BPM or even specific time signatures. Plus there's a few other options as well. And as you adjust your filters, the playlist will update automatically in real time. And when you're happy with the final selection, you just tap on save playlist. And there you go. That playlist will be added to your Spotify account, which you can then listen to whenever you like. After that is D4. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but either way, this is a beautifully designed application that'll help you to set up and track habits. On this main page here, you just tap this plus icon, give your habit a title. So let's say water plants as an example, then change the color if you like, set up how often you want to complete your habit and enable reminders if you like, then tap on save. And that's it. Now, whenever you complete one of your habits, you just open the app, swipe the habit right, and there you go. That gets logged as completed. And as you complete more and more of your habits, you'll be able to track your progress under this weekly tab or even under this overall tab. And it's just such a pleasantly designed app that you'll find yourself wanting to come back more and more to tick things off and track your progress. Oh, and there's also a handy widget for keeping a track of things on your home screen. Then we have Nothing Pro KWGT, and I've featured a couple of Nothing OS inspired widget packs in the past year, but this is a relatively newcomer on the scene with a seriously impressive collection of widgets to go with. At the time of making this video, the pack comes with 70 beautifully designed Nothing OS inspired widgets, as well as 20 wallpapers. But in terms of widgets, you've got your super clean and minimal widgets that might just add a subtle hint of uniqueness to your home screen setup, or you've got your more complex, almost full on home screen replacement widgets, all of which look amazing. And in case you're wondering, I use widgets 49, 11 and 22 respectively to pull off this really cool home screen configuration that you're seeing here. All right, second to last today is Twine, an elegantly designed RSS application that allows you to browse your favorite RSS feeds quickly and in a beautiful interface. You just add your RSS feed links here and that's it. Now you can quickly sift through each of your feeds and read them at your leisure. And for me, as mentioned, it's the design of this app that is absolutely the standout feature. I mean, the app changes its theme dynamically depending on the featured post at the top here. You can also filter it so you only see unread posts. Plus, it's just super fluid to navigate around. So definitely an app I can see myself using going forward. And so finally today, we have a pretty niche little app but that is just too impressive not to include and it's called ShowTaps. Now this app does need permissions to be granted via Shizuku for it to work, so keep that in mind. But once it's activated, whenever you touch your phone's display, you'll see a little circle and you'll also see a little trail if you drag your finger around your screen. You can tweak a bunch of these settings to adjust the colors or the thickness of the circle indicator or the length of the trail line and so forth. So if you're someone who does a bunch of screen recordings and you want a clearer way to show what you're doing on your screen, then this is a really cool app that allows for that exact functionality. And so there you have it, 10 Android applications that I reckon are well worth checking out. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.